Why is my body doing that? That's the theme of today's show, and it's also the question on Chloe's mind. She writes, Dear doctors, I had to cancel a date last week because I woke up with a huge zit in my face. We've all been there, but I wouldn't cancel the date. Why does that happen, and what's the fastest way to get rid of them? I don't want it to happen again. Well, this is such a common question. Here to help us answer that and other skin-related questions is board-certified dermatologist, Dr. Ava Shamban. Welcome back to the show. Thank you. Nothing you know your zits, don't you? I, I do. I know my zits, and I happen to know the answer to that question. This is what your skin looks like if it's blown up and in plastic. So what happens when, when you are, uh, have a big date or an appointment is that stress. So you get an outpouring of cortisol, the stress hormone that stimulates your oil glands to make more oil, mixed with the bacteria and sticky skin cells. Then you develop an inflammation, you develop a bump. Very unsightly. It can happen overnight and can ruin your date. A big headlamp. Is that the is that the big zit on this one right there? This is the oh, this is a day canceler Ooh. right here's there. The, yes, and it can be filled with pus. And what's really important to remember about when you get a pimple like this is not to squeeze it because you can actually spread the infection throughout your face, develop scarring, really nasty and disgusting. You and could go see your dermatologist, and they could extract it for you or right. open it up for right. you, right? But so let's say you're far away from your dermatologist, then there's another option, which is some do-it-yourself recipes. Ooh. So if you start to notice that pimple coming up at night before you go to bed, that's the perfect time to apply. These are your at-home remedies. My first suggestion is a little toothpaste. It's dr nice and drying. It contains something called triclosan, which is a natural antibacterial and a little bit of a drying agent. That's so correct. So both of those things are going to help settle that zit, dry it out. Very important to mix it with aspirin powder, because when you do that, the aspirin is a very potent anti-inflammatory. I really want to go on this date. Mm -hmm. So that's, okay, mixed with, right. that's mixed with all aspirin. Right. <laughs> So that's okay, aspirin so and toothpaste. Now it's toothpaste. going down, aspirin and toothpaste. Now, the other thing that you can do for your whole face if you're acne prone is that you can make a mask, actually a scrub, is taking some applesauce. It has a natural alpha hydroxy acid, brown sugar, a great exfoliant. This takes off the skin cells so that the oil can pour out of your pores and not cause a problem. Green tea, you would actually, you wouldn't use the tea leaves, you'd make the tea. That's anti-inflammatory. A little olive oil so you add back moisture so your face isn't dry and cracking. You put it all together, it looks kind of gross, but you can make it even a little thicker. Put it on your face, go about your business. I technique. can see that after taking off like your it. makeup, cleaning yourself up, do this. Do this, it's little very exfoli soothing. Exfoliating, it is. Exfoliating and moisturizing at the same time, so which is really important when you have acne. Apple scrub. Exactly. I love it. Exactly. This exactly. comes from Charlotte, who wants to know why some things other than pimples are popping up on her face. Hi, doctors. My name is Charlotte. I have these ugly, disgusting moles on my face, and I hate them. I've tried everything to get rid of them. I've even burnt them off, but they just keep coming back. So my question to you is, where do they come from, and how can I get rid of them forever? Charlotte, welcome to the show. You made it. Yes. So, Dr. Shamban, for, for us and all the viewers out there, in a nutshell, what is a mole? Moles are made of what are called neva cells. They're typically brown in pigment. They can occur anytime from birth all the way up to 40. They can occur on your scalp, on your arm, between your toes, even in the back of your eye. And the key thing, not all moles are created equally, right? I mean, some have diff different colors, some are flat, some are raised. raised. So that's why it's so important. To have them checked. Right, before yeah. something is removed, you're the expert, you can differentiate what kind of mole is just, hey, you can leave it alone if you want, right. or that's the kind of mole that may become cancer. Right. Yes, and it's very important in terms of when you're taking care of yourself that you do a self-skin check and mm -hmm. you're looking for a mole that's changing in size, shape, color, starts to bleed, and that's always a sign that you should go see your healthcare mm -hmm. provider immediately. Now, for Charlotte, these moles haven't really bothered you except cosmetically, right? Right. Right, but you hate them. I hate them. You hate them. So the good news is, is it's easy to remove them in the doctor's office, <laughs> and that's what I'm gonna demonstrate now. Okay, so this is the mole on her side of her face right here. 
that bothers her the most? It looks benign. It looks benign, but we're going to check it under the microscope, okay. of course. Now, Charlotte doesn't just have mole. She's got a mole here, and she's got a mole over here. But she also has these little brown growths that are called dermatosis papulosa nigra, DPNs we call them. Mm -hmm. Those are removed a different way. But today we're going to remove her mole. Okay, so Charlotte's already been numbed up, so you're just going to close your eyes. Here we go. Stretch the skin a little bit. You okay, Charlotte? Mm hmm Yeah, we're just going to take it right off just like that. Voila! Oh. Yeah. That was pretty speedy. Let's get a, a close-up and let Charlotte, you see that? Wow. Isn't that little impressive? Pink. Good job. So know your moles, pay attention to them. Any any moles you have a concern with, get it. Don't checked wait out. because Don't wait. skin cancer is something that if you find it early, you get it cut out, no problem. Well, Charlotte, thank you. Thank you. Success. Thank you. Dr. Shamban, thanks again.